हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेड अल्जब्रा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव के प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू के माइनस थ्री एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ के सो हियर फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फाइंड ऑल द रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन एंड एट द लास्ट वी विल बी वेरीफाई दैट विच ऑफ द रूट आर सोल्यूशन एंड विच ऑफ द रूट आर एक्सट्रीनियस रूट फर्दर वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर टू मैथड्स आई होप सो यू लाइक बोथ ऑफ दिस टू मैथड्स बट इफ यू हैव एनी अदर मैथड इन यूर माइंड सो प्लीज डॉट हेजिटेट टू राइट दिस मैथड इन टू द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड नाउ वी मूव टूवर्ड द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम फर्स्ट मैथड एंड हेयर आई कैन एक्सप्लेन वाई वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर टू मैथड द रीजन इज दैट और द आंसर ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन इज इफ इन यू एग्जाम द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट इज दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के ओके सो और यू नीड टू फाइंड द रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वीनियन In that case, if you see directly, you cannot get any value of k. But here, in the first method, I can uh, give a nice method in which you can easily get the values of k. Okay. And here, in the uh, second method, the reason is that uh, if in your exam the question statement is that uh, you can just determine the solution of this problem. So in that case, you directly move towards our second method. But both of these two methods are valid to solve these type of questions. So we move towards the solution of this problem from first method, and here in the first method we need to take a squaring on both of the sides. And when we apply squaring on both of the sides, it will be written as k plus three whole square is equals to k minus three whole square. And in the next step, we use here uh, two nice algebraic formulas. You know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square, and similarly in the right hand side we apply this formula. If you have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus two times of a b plus b square. So uh, here we have uh, when we apply these two nice formulas uh, on both of the sides of the Bob equation, so it will be written as. So when we apply this formula here, it will becomes. Uh, after applying this formula, our left hand side becomes k square plus two times of a is k and b is three plus b square. So b is three square is equals to this is k minus three whole square. And here we use the second formula, and it will be written as k square minus two times of k into three and plus three square. And now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is k square plus two times three becomes here six k and plus this three square becomes nine is equals to this is k square and again we have two times three becomes six k plus this three square becomes here nine. So here we need to move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as k square plus six k. Plus nine, and this is the positive case square. When we move it into the left hand side, it will become the negative case square. This is minus six k becomes here plus six k. This is plus nine becomes here minus nine, and this whole equation is equals to zero. And now here in the next step, we need more simplifications, and it will be written as this is minus k square. This is plus k square are cancelled out by each other, and we get here this is six k plus six k becomes twelve k. And here again, you see that this is plus nine and this is minus nine are also cancelled out by each other, and we get here the whole equation is equals to zero. So because here our target is to find the values of k, uh, so that's why we need to remove this k from left hand side. So for this, we divide both of the sides by twelve. So when we divide both of the sides by twelve, it will be written as this twelve and this twelve are gone, and we get here our k is equals to this zero divided by twelve is equals to zero. This means that here in this question or in this method we find the value of k, and that is k equals to zero. But here uh, we need to verify that is this value of k is satisfied our given question statement or not. So, for verification of this value, we need to copy down given question statement here, so that our given question statement is k plus three is equals to k minus three. This is our given question statement, and here we substitute the value of k equals to zero. So, when you put this value of k equals to zero on both of the sides of this equation, it will be written as zero plus three is equals to zero minus three. And this implies that this is 
3 is equal to minus 3. This shows that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of k equals to 0 is not satisfied of a given question statement and we call that k is equal to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation. Okay, So this is the extraneous root which we get here. And now in the next step, uh, we again solve this problem from second method. So in second method, uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that uh, our given question statement is k plus 3 is equals to k minus 3. So this is the uh, our second method and this is a very straightforward method. And here we uh, just quickly get the values of k or we quickly determine about the solution set of this problem. So here in this method we move this k into the left hand side and it will be written as k plus 3. This is positive k. When we move it into the left hand side it will become negative k is equals to minus 3. And you see that this is minus k and plus k are cancelled out by each other and we get here 3 is equals to minus 3. This shows that both of the sides are not equal but here we cannot get any value of k which is satisfied our given question statement. So if we cannot get any value of k this means that that this question has no solution okay so this is the final conclusion about this question uh, this is this has no solution so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos